Rich Robin here. Let me show you all what's happening right here on this one particular trailer. The company's called BL BLS, right? This is the CAD file that we are cutting or cut already on our plasma table here. And I got one wheel of the fabricating that's signed right now. This is the aluminum plate that goes between the, uh, the sign. So it's going to be a, a two sided sign with this shiny aluminum piece between the two signs, left and right or driver side, passenger side of the trailer. So it's going to really stand out and have some bling to it, right? Especially when the sun hits it or at night if you got lights on it, right? This is the actual trailer that they're trying to wrap up today so that we can paint tomorrow or Friday while we got some good weather this week. Uh, the other welder over here is installing the gas system in the firebox, as you can see there. There's your gas lines going in. He's fabricating the inlet from the propane tank holder. That is that box right there, which is going to mount in that corner. So your propane tank is going to sit here. It's going to have an inline right there where the regular, regular hose hits uh, with the control valves on it. And then you're going to have a protective cover plate over this and then a valve here to control the flame or the torch that's actually inside the firebox down there. This is the carnivore on our website. Here are the, here's the sign that they cut that BLS on. And they're going to sandwich that aluminum piece in the middle of it and uh, bolt the pieces together, driver's side, passenger side pieces. There will be a stainless steel front shelf, 304 stainless. And then you get your gauges and all that uh, put into it. Uh, 3,500 pound axle down there with springs. You can see there are your springs for a smooth tow down the highway. It's going to be a nice pit. Very nice when it's all said and done. <coughs> this is BLS's second pit from us. They bought one around the uh, end of last year. Loved it so much that they're buying another one to the first one went to their texas location i believe in odessa this one's going to their colorado location uh office uh there and uh so they wanted another one identical they said build it exactly the same and here you go there it is uh very nice very nice trailer it is the carnivore on the website at gatorpit.net you'll see the carnivore model on our trailer pit page web page carnivore at gatorpit.net this one's got some obviously some custom accessories added to it it does get fenders added uh, that'd be one of the last things they probably do is mount those fenders it won't take them but about an hour to do that uh, but it's got some storage up front i do believe they're added some d-rings i believe they're going to put some d-rings up here too so they can put ice chests or whatever up there and strap those that gear down right there in the front deck might as well use it you've got it put four d-rings on there now you got usable space for storage down the highway, right? So that's what we got going on right here. On this one bay, I've got other stuff obviously happening on the other side, the other bays of the shop. I just want to share with you what you know, just how custom the Gator Pit really is. When it comes to to you know doing your logos or your your signage on your your cooker, your Gator Pit cooker, and that's what he's doing right now is putting it together. 